Hi, Peter. This is Matthew Robert Payne, and this is a prophecy for you. So I'll just pray and dedicate this to the Lord. So, dear Father, I pray that uh, you would bless Peter. You'd give him a word, a word to bless him, encourage him, and lift his spirits up. In Jesus' name I ask. Amen. I see an image of a hedge, and it's an unkept uh, hedge. And uh, it needs a hedge trimmer to come along and trim it. And um, since the hedge is an image of your life, that um, I sense that uh, that uh, Jesus, through the Holy Spirit, is going to come and uh, prune your life. Uh, it says in John 15, when we bear much fruit, uh, Jesus will come and uh, prune us. And uh, I sense that uh, that the Lord uh, wants to uh, put a few things uh, in order and uh, and um, work on your life. Uh, there's there's healthy growth on um, on your hedge. Uh, there's plenty of uh, plenty of uh, material grass or whatever uh, whatever's on a hedge there's plenty of um, uh, uh, growth there um, but uh, uh, it just needs a trim um, I, I sense that uh, uh, apart from uh, the Lord uh, uh, giving you a trim, uh, apart from the Lord uh, pruning you, I sense that um, you've got a heart that's uh, very hungry for the Lord. Uh, uh, you, you seem to have a lot of uh, hunger uh, for the things of God. And uh, <clears throat> I remember Jesus saying, uh, uh, in Matthew 5, blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. And uh, that's a promise to you that uh, your hunger will be uh, satisfied. And uh, even though it's uh, satisfied, uh, uh, you you get hungry again. Uh, we uh, We hunger... We get what we hunger for, then we hunger again. And uh, that's just the process uh, that uh, people go through. Um, I sense uh, that uh, the Lord is uh, happy uh, with your intimacy. I sense that uh, Jesus is, is uh, happy with your state of intimacy, uh, I can see um, him uh, opening up uh, the supernatural to you. Um, I, I believe, I sense that you already have access to some of the supernatural and uh, you've already had encounters. Um, I, I sense that uh, the Lord is going to open it right up um, I just pray uh, uh, for Peter, I pray uh, for you, Peter, that uh, the open heaven that's over my life uh, may be released uh, into your life, uh, that uh, you can meet angels and uh, God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit and uh, you can develop intimacy with the three persons of the Trinity, that uh, you can be meet angels and start to meet saints from heaven. Uh, in a greater measure, in, in Jesus' name I ask, amen. So I sense uh, you um, uh, meeting people uh, in, in the supernatural, having uh, supernatural experiences. And uh, I sense that um, uh, in the future, uh, when you get plenty of experience in the supernatural, I can see you uh, doing videos about uh, your encounters and, and sharing them. I can see you um, possibly or 
probably um, preparing a book, uh, talking about your encounters. Uh, I, I sense that uh, you're going to have quite a number of angelic uh, encounters and uh, I, I feel that uh, you're going to write a book that uh, uh, people will be interested in uh, my angelic visitations or something like that. Um, I, I sense that uh, you're going to uh, have so many encounters that you're going to learn a lot about the supernatural and I sense that uh, you're going to uh, be, be used uh, to teach people uh, how to encounter uh, the supernatural. So I feel that uh, you're going to uh, have so many encounters that uh, God is going to uh, raise up in you a teaching gift and uh, you're going to uh, be used uh, to teach people how to encounter uh, the supernatural and uh, uh, your books uh, are going to be like um, like reading the Bible uh, to people. Um, it'll be, uh, they'll read and uh, the, the actual books will become portals uh, to supernatural experiences uh, for people. Um, just like the, the Bible, you can read uh, encounters in the Bible, you can read uh, stories in the Bible and go into the encounter and have an encounter with uh, the biblical um, uh, subject and uh, the biblical scene. You can go into the actual Bible and uh, go back in time and have an encounter. Um, I see uh, people reading your book on encounters and uh, encountering uh, some of the things uh, that are written about. Um, I can see uh, you uh, developing your ability uh, to become a teacher. Um, I can see you um, uh, being used uh, prophetically. Uh, I uh, see like a prophetic uh, mantle uh, coming onto your life. Um, and I uh, can see uh, uh, you being raised up as, as a powerful teacher, uh, one that uh, really uh, gets right in the air, one that uh, can uh, become uh, very authoritative and uh, very clear and distinct and teaching people uh, really uh, direct helpful uh, messages um, and uh, how you know you're a teacher is uh, you have hundreds of questions about scripture, you have hundreds of questions about godly subjects and uh, slowly uh, your questions are answered uh, one by one and uh, it's those uh, answers to questions that you can teach people uh, because uh, little do you know that uh, you get answers uh, as you read and as you discover and as you live your Christian life, you get answers. But um, other people haven't got those answers yet that you've got. And uh, so um, you can teach and share those answers with people and really uh, bless people. I sense that... Uh, that uh, you're going to uh, be used uh, in intercessory prayer. I, I sense you're going to be used prophetically. I, I sense that you're going to be used as a teacher. Um, I, I sense that uh, you're going to uh, declare uh, prophetic words over your nation uh, and uh, you're going to um, be used uh, prophetically um, uh, and uh, I sense that uh, there's going to be a lot of intercession uh, brought into different spheres of influence that you're going to speak prophetic words over. Um, I, I, I feel that you're not going to be in a rush to speak prophetically. Uh, I feel that uh, you're going to put a lot of preparation uh, into uh, speaking prophetically and uh, you're not going to rush into it. Uh, 
So these are some of the things I got for you uh, today. I pray that uh, you're encouraged and uh, hope that uh, you can write to me and give me some feedback. God bless.